We're really excited to be going down to the Cactus Bowl in Arizona. Uh, I think the location is is awesome. Um, who 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 doesn't want to be heading to Arizona probably this time of year? Yeah, I, I know our coaches and players do, and uh, hopefully at least part of the Husky Nation wants to come with us. And so we're really excited to go down there. Um, I think Oklahoma State has one heck of a program. Uh, I've known about known and known about Coach Gundy for a long time, and and know what type of uh, staff he has and what type of athletes they have. And so it'll be a, a real nice matchup, a real competitive game. And, and we're excited to get a, a great opportunity to play in, a, in an awesome place against a really, really good program. Coach, does this play into some of the experience you've had in previous bowl games as far as coordinating, as far as logistics, getting down there, trying to incorporate a little bit of recruiting and so on when you're there? Well, uh, yeah, the recruiting, the recruiting will be going hard for the next, you know, week, and then we're we're in a dead period for a while, and so we'll really uh, build a home into the game uh, during that that dead period. So that that'll work good for us. Um, but hey, it's always about recruiting. You know, it's important for us to go down there and play well, and and that certainly helps recruiting. With that game being January 2nd as opposed to being before Christmas, does that give you a chance to get a little healthier? And how healthy are you? Well, we're, we're really pretty healthy for this time of the year. Um, you know, we've lost a few guys along the way, but overall, I think we're pretty healthy. Um, I think what we really need to do is go practice hard, uh, but practice smart. So some of these early practices, uh, you know, our young guys that uh, have redshirted and maybe not played a lot are going to get a lot of really good work. Um, but even our guys... Um, you know, that have played a lot for us. I mean, we got to practice hard. And, I, you know, we talk about all the time, I don't want to just go through the motions. I mean, I want to get better. And I know that they will too. But they'll get some good time off this week to finish their finals. And then next week will be, you know, game plan and some practice. And then they're going to get some time off to even to go home. And so that will be different and awkward and unique uh, because after that game we start school again. So they will get a chunk of time uh, in the middle of this thing where they're not doing any football. Um, for five, six days or so. Is that a good thing? I think it is. Well, it depends how we use that time. It can be a good thing. I mean, I think that guys need to get refreshed. Guys need to be with their families. Um, but it's going to be, you know, no timing and rhythm for six days. But I think if guys do it the right way and handle it the right way, we'll come back down to Arizona, and hopefully there's really good energy and there'll be an urgency that we've got to get this thing going again in a hurry. Is there a sense that these extra practices are – especially important coming off your first season and kind of getting your hands, you know, more on these guys, like you said, the younger guys especially? I mean, I think they're important. I think any time we're going to go out there and practice, it's going to be important. I really do. Um, you know, we got one of the later bowl games, and so you could have all these practice days, and we'll get some good practice days. But I, I'm, I am and our staff is very mindful of the fact that, you know, this is such a year-round process and grind anyways. I, I don't want to wear these guys out and be out there just to go through the motions. I mean, if our practice is a little shorter, that's fine. I mean, but let's go when we're out there and get better. And so I think that's important. I mean, it's not, you know, everybody talks about, oh, you get another spring ball in there and, uh, you know, all those things. Well, you know, in, in some ways, in my mind, you know, that's, that's a little bit of uh, maybe even some older school thinking where, you know, the kids weren't around here in the summer. And didn't train. Now, does that? I'm still happy we got some extra practice times, but we have to balance this to keep these kids healthy, their energy right, their minds right. When when you have New Year's time bowl games at Boise, did you take that break in the middle, or was it typically you'd have the run up to the game and then take a break after? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I can't remember exactly what we did. You know, we were on semesters there, mm -hmm. so it ended a little bit later. Uh, we started school later. Um, there was some good downtime in there, and I can't remember if we sent them home or not. I have to check my. I know what we need to do here just mm -hmm. because of this quarter system and when we start again. you have any thought on how the uh, college football playoff rankings and top four came out? Well, I, I think, you know, um, you know, I was talking to Jeff. I mean, we are trying to figure out how everybody did, did fare. Um, and, you know, whether this thing is a four-term uh, 14 tournament or an 18 tournament, there's always going to be those one to two on the outside going, wow, those guys could, they could probably be in this. And it's true. You know, you're splitting hairs a lot. I mean, there's just no, you get to the basketball tournament and there's 64 or whatever, there's always those last teams go, how did they not make it? So there's always going to be that. But I think there's four really good teams in there. And, uh, 
it is going to be exciting and interesting to watch him play. Do you know anything about Oklahoma State? Do you, are you familiar with Mike Gundy? Well, I am a little familiar with him. You know, a few years back, uh, I made a pass through there and stopped and saw those guys for a day and watched them practice. Um, I think he's done a wonderful job of building that program and, you know, the whole thing, the facilities they have and where they've come from and what they're doing now, I think is, is uh, impressive. And so I don't know a ton about him, but I do, I do know that they've done some very good things. Did you get a chance last night to watch the Boise State game, like, given that was your old, old stop? Did you take any interest in that? I always take interest in it. Um, shoot, I know all those coaches and all those kids were recruited over there, so I did see some of it I didn't see at all. Um, and I'm thrilled for them. And I, I mean that sincerely. It's awesome that they're going back to Arizona and uh, they'll have a great time there. And uh, I'm happy for them. I really am. And given your history with Arizona, having a couple ball games down there, how nice is it just for you personally to get back down there? Well, Arizona's a great place to go. I mean, this time of year, without question. And with a little luck, we'll get that true Arizona uh, December, January weather. And I think our guys will really, you know, enjoy being down there and practicing and playing. Had a bunch more? It seemed like you've been putting on some miles, obviously, the last week and recruiting. What, what's the reception been like uh, now that you've been here a full year? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's, I just, you know, it's the reason that I wanted to be here is uh, the power of, the, you know, of, of Washington. And I think that people really know that, um, you know, that this is and can be even more of a special place football-wise. But I think the school in so many ways sells itself, the city, the city of Seattle and what's up here. Um, so I haven't been surprised. I mean, I've, I've dealt with Washington many years through those recruiting battles, and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes, but it's been good. Anticipate any mid-year signees, more high school guys or even juco yeah, it's guys? All, it's always more high, high school. Oh, mid-year. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll see how that plans out. Probably not a, not another high school guy, um, and we'll see how the junior college thing goes. All right, guys.